Uh, oh my goodness, they're just falling. Why would they have tape? Oh no, they're hey. Okay, so. I have a knife, but I have little scissors. I've already started to try and get into it. Oh, there's tape on my thing. Hi everybody, it's PJ, and today we have a Sabbath box unboxing. Yay! Oh, I got in really easily. Let's see, the first thing is, oh, it's green. Oh, so pretty, herbal. Oh, it's an herbal box. Yay! Oh, God, I don't have glasses. Okay, and it says herbal witchery on the little tag. I told you I love these little tags. They always put them on. I got some eyes on. So, herbal witchery. Ah! That's the coupons. They always give you coupons in this um, for like the products and then specifically for other things that uh, are witch related. Okay, so let's open and see what we got. Oh my goodness, you gonna open it with me? Oh look, it's a pouch, let's see why. And they always give you the why they chose it. All right. Is that the patch? Okay. We wanted to include inside our herbal witchy box is a set of quality organic herbs that would be versatile in both their magical and mundane use. Okay. So in here is an herb bag. That's a cute herb bag. The little green bag. And all different kinds of herbs oh my god this is so cool look whoa whoa okay lots of them this is all the herbs herbal stuff herbal stuff okay and you get hot okay you get high sops you get willow bark you get vervain and you get lavender i have lavender bushes you know, I was showing a bunch of my stuff and I forgot to show that. And then you get an herbal. Now, I have a huge herbal book. This is like what all these herbs are for. But I actually invested in an herbal. And um, it is beautiful. It's got like every single thing you can imagine in it. And then it gives like medicinal properties and magical... Medicinal and magical properties, all of that for each herb and here is the same thing it's just a little cheat sheet on your herbals but all witches should have an herbal like it's a big it's, I'll show you mine in a minute it's beautiful it's beautiful all right so next more sage I have so much sage I have so much sage I had gone to a Native American um, festival and bought sage from them and then right after that I started getting these boxes and a lot of it is sage. So this is wolf spirit sage so it's a little special in that and it's wrapped with like blue wire and I'll have to read about like why it's special but I have a lot of sage I have enough to clean everybody's house on my block <laughs> all right why we chose it another way herbs are used uh, or implemented with our spiritual practices is to burn them for specific purposes or intent yep and that's why you have a nice cauldron that is metal and you can burn things out of okay one of the more commonly known ways to do such a thing is smudging and yes I think everybody who started witchcraft or knows anything about witchcraft knows how to smudge you burn the end of this and the smoke that rises is purifying so you put the smoke where you want it like if you move into a new house you burn it at all four corners I even now have spray for that which is really cool I got from this company worms are falling okay next I have this little bomb I don't know what it is it's a little metal I don't know if it's bomb in a pouch you see why aren't you opening? Oh, there we go. Here we go. Well, I've never gotten an herbal box from them. This is cool. Okay, this is Dream Bomb. Oh, first off, let's take a look at it. And let's smell it. Well, it doesn't really have maybe slightly minty. 
no real sense to it. Okay, let's read about it. This, I hope it takes me away. Oh my God, I had another astro... I cannot stop dropping things today. My hands aren't working. I had another astral projection. Ah, wait. I had another astral projection the other night. Um, it was amazing, necessary, just so good, but that's another video. Anyway, Dream Bomb, why we chose it. Another unique way that we are able to work with herbs is to pull chemical components and compounds found with different herbs and infuse that material with bomb. When rubbed onto the skin, the compounds were infused. Okay, well, uh, this unique Dream Bomb will help assist you in protecting oh and journeying in sleep yes oh this is my new baby mm. <laughs> can you imagine like if it helps me get farther than where i've been i've been some crazy places i'm enjoying it okay next another little pouchy and this one they're all in like a champagne color they're cute pouches uh, they are really tied too tight, but that's okay. Alright, so this one is... What does it say? It, it looks to me like... Yeah, citron. So this is a citron stone. And there is the stone. You can see it. Let's look at why they chose it for this box. Where is it? Where is it? Why we chose it. Uh, Midsummer is often associated with abundance, growth, and success, prosperity. We decided to include a crystal that held similar components to the celebration of the Sabbath. Citron is also considered to be a stone of great power associated with good luck. That thing is going in with me. Let's just put it right in here. Right in there. Because everything's in there. I'm telling you, I put more stuff in my bra. I get home at night and pull my bra. It's like Christmas. Money's falling. Candies. Little hearts. Like, anything I get, I stuff in my bra. It's crazy. Crazy! Anyway. Next. Uh, a cup of the sun. Uh, this is tea. Made with, made with hibiscus, lemon balm, chamomile, St. John's wort and orange peel. Well, what I know about what that just said is that um, this is to elevate your mood, okay? St. John's wort is a natural antidepressant and the chamomile is a calmer downer. So if you have any kind of strain or stress. Oh, okay. This one um, is solar energy. I did not know that. <clears throat> now, as you know, we had the summer solstice and now we are at um, midsummer, which you can do a lot. Like midsummer has a lot to do with dreaming. It has a lot. It has a ton to do with the sun. Okay, so this is that. That's why it's a cup of sun. Duh. But these herbs are all related to the sun. Now, now the sun, notoriously in witchcraft and whatnot, is huge power. It's masculine power. It's about um, like breaking of the day. Like you have to look at it like that huge ball of light gives us everything, gives us life, all that. So this tea is all with herbs that are related to the sun. Most herbs are um, probably all herbs, but most herbs are related to a planet, an astrology sign, all that stuff. That's why you need an herbal to tell you all that stuff. But anyway, that's what they kind of give you. They give you a little cheat sheet on herbs here. It's a cheat book. Um, let's see what it says. The last thing is you get an herbal healing pocket guide. So that's what this is. A little pocket guide for herbal healing. And they chose it because um, don't let the size fool you. It's simple, useful, and it has lots of spells, potions, and whatnot in it. Wow, look how cute, look how cute with all the pictures. The pen and ink, who wrote this? Is this, a, no, it's not Luo. Okay, so yeah, it's how to collect, how to prepare, and what to use, dosages, that kind of thing. Now, the thing about getting into herbs is, let me see, anything else, anything else? No, that was it. Great box. The thing about getting into herbs is you got to be kind of careful. 
You know, you gotta know what you actually have in your hand. You can't just go out and start, you know, making teas out of your flowers or you're gonna get sick. But herbs are great in spell work and also when you burn certain herbs. That's why I, I suggest, even though this is a nice little pocket guide and whatnot, I suggest you get an herbal. Let me show you my. Well, <laughs> my big herbal is not here. I don't know what I've done with it. Doesn't that figure? But I have a couple. Here's one. Here's another one. Now this is a good one here. Even though it's not, I have a herbal. Ah, don't. I might have lent it to my sister. I have an herbal that's literally like that big. It's like an encyclopedia, but here's one. And it just has, this isn't a real one though. See, although this one has like some stuff, a real herbal is like an encyclopedia. I can't believe I don't have mine. I guess, I can think I gave it to somebody to use. It might be up in that closet, I'm not gonna find it, but um, they're like an encyclopedia. They're about this big and they have every single herb. And then under the herb, it's, it's literally a, an encyclopedia. Like if you look at this one, see it has like the herb, the color picture, and then what it does. But in, it, in the one that, um, the big herbal that I cannot find, I can't believe it. I'm like so mad right now. I just spent like 15 minutes over. Um, I'm out of breath from it. Uh, the one that I have somewhere is um, literally like, it has everything, like everything about it. And then it has the warnings about it. Because if you take certain herbs and just like burn them in a cauldron and accidentally breathe in the fumes, you can get super sick. So before you do anything, before you read some little anything I'm not saying that that book isn't like okay the one that uh, they're giving you the handbook but I want you to read like more than that and if you're going to get into herbs my sister's an herbologist which is why I think that she has my book but maybe not I don't know um, you want to know like any application that could be harmful because it's just chemicals it's like I remember once, real quick, I remember once I did, um, it was like, it wasn't the Herbalife like the shakes they have now, but it was this promise of 16 days you lose like 30 pounds. And it was all these pills you took for, or no, not, you lose 16 pounds in three days in a weekend. And you started Friday when you got home from work, and by Monday you're 16 pounds later. By Sunday morning, uh, I had lost my eyesight. Like literally my eyesight was down to these pinholes and I was rushed to the ER. I couldn't hold water down. I was sweating profusely, I was white as hell. And what had happened was I had really fucked up my blood sugar somehow and had to stay in the hospital. My neighbor was like, I couldn't see, I was blind. It took me weeks to gain my sight completely back. Um, so when the doctor came in, I had brought all the stuff I had been taking because it was like this whole thing of pills, plus you had to go on this very restricted kind of diet. And I brought everything in I was taking and he said, listen, these are drugs. Just because it's all natural or herbal, it's still a drug. That's where regular drugs come from. Like that's where all our drugs come from is from herbs. I mean, that's just like the compounds that are in nature is what we use. So um, that was a little eye opening for me, but also um, later on, once I did start getting into herbals, which wasn't that long ago, I guess I, when I lost my eyesight, I've done it twice, once drinking. <laughs> yeah, it happened when I was really badly out. I wasn't an alcoholic, but I was drinking heavily and lost my eyesight, but not quite as bad as the herbal. But anyway, long story. Um, anyway, the point is, is that um, once I started getting into herbal magic, which I really hadn't been up until then, I was more reading and whatnot, and this is a long, long time ago, but guys, but once I started getting into it, I realized like, wow, there are so many ways that these herbs are great, but it's also that you know they're chemicals like in the long run so i'm i know staff box probably won't be happy with me doing this i don't know they don't sponsor me so i don't really care but um yeah so a little chap herbal is cool they're probably only going to talk about herbs that are 
safe for you to play with and tell you how to play with them. But if you want to get into like being an herbalist, like my sister went to school and everything for it, and she can make tinctures and all that stuff, but she knows what's safe and what's not. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just saying that herbal stuff is fun as long as you're completely in the loop with what it can do for you. And I'm sure when they make like products like this and whatnot, they're safe. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this isn't safe. I'm just saying if you're going into herbs for magical purposes, just know that sometimes just burning an herb can change the, the composition of it to where it can hurt you. So don't do anything without getting an herbal and researching. That's all. Just research. That's all. And other than that, I mean, I'm just telling you that for my own, to make me feel better. So I don't want people to go out and start collecting shit and getting all messed up. But, like, flowers are out. This is a great time to start drying flowers. This is a great time for herbs. I mean, my gardens are full of them. And yours should be too. Little witchy garden can go anywhere on a windowsill, anything. So this is a great Sabbat box set. Thank you, Sabbat box sets. If you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Thumbs down if you know. Either way, you're watching me manifest something lovely in your life. If you know it, think it, believe it, you can have it too. Like a beautiful herbal box. All you have to do is hit Sabbat box. Hit them up, get on the subscription list. It's an awesome, awesome tool. If you're a, if you're an old ass witch, a crone like me, or if you're a new uh, person new into the field of witchcraft, you will absolutely enjoy all this stuff. This is just like Christmas every time I get a box. And it's not monthly, it's just whenever they send them. It's like not a monthly box, but anyway. Um, I love you guys. Else I don't think so. I gotta go. I gotta go.